Hey guys, so I'm starting out with some of this Benefit Professional Gel. It just keeps oils and all of that kind of thing at bay when it's really warm. And then for my primer, I'm using this little Bourjois one, which I've been loving. It's just basically like a silicone primer and it fills in all of my pores. And then for foundation, I'm actually mixing my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC25 with some of the Hyper Real foundation in Rose Gold FX just to give me a little bit more of a glow and I'm buffing it all out using the Quartz Beauty foundation buffer brush which I do really really like. For my cream contour, I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones, around my hairline, my temples and under my bottom lip. And then I'm going in with the Quartz Beauty Face Sculpting Brush which is absolutely amazing for contouring. Like all of these brushes are so impressive but this is definitely one of my favourites. Then to conceal, I'm first starting out with the Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer underneath my eyes and then I'm using the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer just down the center of my face and on any blemishes just because it's a little bit darker and I needed it to sort of all blend and flow. And I'm using the Quartz Beauty Concealer Buffer Brush just to blend everything out. Then just to make sure my concealer and my foundation were nice and meshed, I went back in with my foundation buffer brush and I just basically patted that all into my skin. Then to set my under eyes, I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus on the Quartz Beauty Mini Powder Brush and I'm basically setting my under eyes and a little bit of the center of my face. But then for the rest of my face, I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder with the Lux Powder Brush, which is another one of my favorites. Then for powder contour, I'm first taking this cool toned contour shade from Inglot. It is in the shade 505 and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones with the same brush. And then to bronze up my entire face, I'm taking the domed bronzer brush and I'm kind of going over where I contoured and then going all around my hairline and under my jawbone, all of those kind of areas just to make sure my face was nice and warm. And then I did just go back in with my foundation brush once again to blend my edges. And then for blush, I'm taking this blush here which is like a pinky coral shade from Inglot as well and I'm just using the angled br blush brush to apply that to my cheeks and then for highlighter I use the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive which oh my god you can see how impressed I was with this brush I think it's my all-time favorite someone just beeped their horn twice that's very rude as I was saying I'm applying this highlight to all of the high points of my face and I am obsessed with this brush and I just set my face down with some fix plus moving on to the eyes I'm using the Sigma and Beauty Bird palette which you guys know I love and I'm first taking the shade woof woof and I'm using the soft crease brush from Quartz Beauty just to Oh my gosh, I am so tongue-tied. Just to buff this into the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm dipping into the shade Tacos and Chill and I am just doing the same kind of thing, just buffing this into the outer corner and then working it through the crease and underneath that lower lash line as well. Then I'm going in to the shade Caramelito and I'm just doing the same thing but I'm keeping this pretty high up in the crease. I wanted it to be 
more noticeable towards the brow rather than in the crease. And then I'm taking the shade Woof Woof. I think I actually said the first shade was Woof Woof, but it was actually called Boo Boo, so I hope I didn't screw that up. But this shade is Woof Woof, and I'm using the Precision Blender to pack this into the outer corner and blend it out. Then I'm just going back in with that soft crease brush to blend all of the edges, make sure everything is seamless. And then I'm taking the shade Frenchie, which is just like a matte bone shade, and I'm highlighting my brow bone with that shade. And then I'm going into the shade Libra, I believe, which is just like a light highlight and doing the same thing and then blending once again. Then I'm taking the shade Birdie, which is the most beautiful blue ever. And I'm kind of packing this just before where that dark brown is. So yeah, you can see where I'm placing it. I'm using the crease definer brush to apply this. And then I'm taking some Fix Plus on a eye base brush from Quartz Beauty. And I'm taking the shade Cafe Cafecito. And I'm just packing this all over the lid and yeah, blending it out. Turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. Then I'm just going back in with the crease definer with no additional product, and I'm just making sure that blue stands out, and then taking this soft crease brush once again to blend my edges. Then I'm taking a black liner from Eye of Horus and I'm just tight lining with this. And I also apply just a thin line to my upper lash line just to make it look a little bit thicker and so my false lashes blend in easier. And I do apply this into my waterline as well. Then for my inner corner highlight, I took this beautiful foiled gold shade. It is called Con Conchita. Conchita. And then for mascara, I'm taking the MAC Bold and Bad Lash Mascara and I'm just applying that to my top lashes, letting that dry a little bit. And then for my falsies, I'm using the Quartz Beauty False Lashes in Sapphire and these are so stunning. They're just like wispy and beautiful and fluffy and I really, really like them. Then I just went in with the little mini wand in the mascara and applied that to my bottom lashes. And then finally for lips, I lined them first using the Rimmel Lip Liner in Tiramisu. And I basically outlined them but then filled my entire lips in because the lipstick I'm using is quite pale. And the lipstick I chose is the Patrick Star and MAC collab in Peachy Peter, which, oh, it's such a stunning nude. I am obsessed. And that is a completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.